Yo, what's up guys? It's Franklin here, and yes sir, it's that time once again to show you guys how you can get a free, legit event Pokemon from Generation 5, particularly Black, White, Black 2, and White 2. Um, I actually made one of my first videos that kind of blew up was my Generation 5 video from 2018, November. So it's been almost two years since I've made that video, and thank you guys so much for the original support. Hopefully you guys have stuck around to support my channel. If you guys do like and subscribe, I appreciate everything. Obviously, we're going to do some giveaways, some Wi-Fi battles coming up very soon. So check your boy out, you know? All right, so a couple things. For this updated tutorial, not much has really changed um, because things haven't really, things have pretty much stayed the same. So first off, you're going to need a Nintendo 3DS. I have an old uh, version of the 3DS. Obviously, it's you can tell by its conditions, it's all fucked up. And yeah, next up, you're going to want a copy of Black, White, Black 2 and White 2. Mine's North American. It's a legit copy that I got from GameStop when I was like in high school. So it was like nine years ago. Almost 10 years ago, if you think about it. It was released in 2011, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if this trick is going to work with a R4 or any um, virtual consoles, you know, the all-in-one games. I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert at that. But if it does, I suggest you should try it out regardless. So I'm going to put that in our 3DS. And next up you need is an Android. Uh, the reason being is that in order for you to connect into the uh, proxy server, which I'm going to go over very soon, uh, you need to have an Android mobile hotspot function that allows you to connect without using a password. So what are you talking about, Franklin? So, all right, let's get to it. The first thing you want to do, fire up this bad boy. Press the on button here. And so let me see if I can sit here so I can show you guys. Put that a little closer. All right, cool. So you see, your DS, 3DS has to read your cartridge. It will not work if it doesn't read it. I know that copies like old black and white versions might not work for your 3DS or DS because they're old as hell. No surprise. Suggest you get a new copy if you can. You know, <laughs> it's up to you. So anyways, first thing you wanna do is go to your Android and the reason why we're going to go into Android is because for this to work, you need to have a um, mobile hotspot and tethering option. And what you want to do here is click on the hotspot on. And once you do, you need to get rid of your Wi-Fi. So if you guys can clear that up a little bit, you can't really see it very well. There you go. So you want to turn off your Wi-Fi function because the reason why being is because you want your uh, your internet coming straight from your data, not from your Wi-Fi because your Wi-Fi is password protected. It has to be an open, secured um, Wi-Fi. So note the name of your, uh, you know, your Wi-Fi connection for a mobile hotspot. Make sure your band is 2.4. If it's five, I know that sometimes the 3DS and regular DSs are not gonna pick that up because obviously they're archaic technology. Um, so try to keep it as low as possible. And password here, just leave it to none. If you already have a password or something, you can just go ahead and just backspace it all and just save it. And it will say, no, no password. Very well. So now we got that set up. Um, there's just one connected device because my DS has already been connected. So what you're gonna do here is go to your 3DS or whatever. You're gonna go to your settings here. And Next thing you want to do is go to your internet settings, connections. You're going to make a new connection. I already have my, um, you can delete the setting. I'm going to delete the settings just for your, your guys', um, you know, just to go through the process with me. You're going to click new connection. You're going to do manual setup. You're going to search for an access point. And once you find that access point, it's going to be, should be your first one is going to be your mobile hotspot connection. So click on that. Access is okay. You're going to test it to see your internet is actually working. So far, so good. I know that might have been a little fast, but um, you can just pause the video if you guys need to, just to catch up. 
connect to the internet. Yep, it's successful. Now, here is where the magic begins. So you're gonna go to your first connection that you made. You're gonna change the settings. You're gonna scroll over until you get to the DNS. Basically, this is gonna be how you're going to connect into the mystery gift. Auto obtain? Nope, of course not. Then we're gonna go to detail setup. Now, here is the magic. The magic right here for the DNS is what's gonna allow you to connect into the mystery gift server that somehow magically has been appeared for a while now or reappeared for a while now. And if you wanna access it, all you gotta do is click on the primary DNS and the numbers what you're gonna do is, you're gonna delete all this. It's gonna be the following numbers and the, um, the periods count too. So you're gonna put one, six, four, point, one, three, two, point, zero, four, four, point, one, zero, six. Key number, you gotta do this, otherwise it's not gonna work. So you're gonna press okay, then you're going to the second one. Same thing too. And I will work on a fourth generation video, so just stay tuned with that. One, six, four, point, uh, one, three, two, point, zero, four, four, point, one, zero, six. All slots should be filled. Once you do, you press OK. You press OK to save. And then you save right here. Yes, sir. You like to test the connection just in case, you know, you want to make sure everything is flowing nice and easy for your boy or for you. Whoever wants to go back to their old games and do some, you know, Nuzlocke with event Pokemon, you know, just in case, you know, you just want to be sure. That's good. So it's been okayed. Now we're going to go back, back to our the homepage. And next thing you're going to want to do is to make sure your connection actually does flow through your 3DS. If it doesn't, there might be something wrong or the mobile hotspot may be too advanced. Now, the reason why I say Android is because Androids are the only type of phones that I know that actually um, allow you to have this ability of simply not having any passwords. I think iPhones don't give you that um, option, so it might not work on iPhones. But if I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me in the comment section. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go scroll all the way back to our black version we're gonna fire that baby up and we're about to get hit with some nostalgia i haven't opened this up in a very long time it's been a while i'm gonna skip all this y'all y'all played this before yep 2011 so it's like nine years ago come april would be like 10 years which is insane to think like how far we've come with pokemon then fire up that baby right here now, <clears throat> we're gonna go to the mystery gift. I'm not sure if the progress in your game reflects on you enabling to unlock mystery gift. I know in fourth generation there is, but I'm not sure in fifth generation. Um, so I have the mystery gift because I already have completed this story, of course. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna receive mystery gift. Yep, press okay. You're gonna get it via Nintendo WFC. It's going to ask you to connect. Yes, sir. And it might ask you to update your Wi-Fi user and data. Just click OK. And this now you just connect to the WFC. And you see the little green uh, bars right here. Yes, sir. That means we got internet. It says on my phone here that my uh, device was connected. And now it's searching for a mystery gift. And I wonder what it is. It is a secret egg. What Pokemon will hatch from this egg? Keep it with you on your journey and take it out or you and you'll find out. Will I receive it? Yes, but I already have used this exploit already actually for all the Pokemon that I got. So there you have it. You got yourself a mystery gift. Um, now to prove that I actually did, we're gonna quit and we're gonna go into the save file. So you can keep actually doing this repeatedly many times until you get all the mystery gifts that are uh, eligible in your respective version of whatever you're using for this exploit. So black and white had different events. Black 2, white 2 had different events as well. Um, 
just gotta just go on Serbi. They'll tell you like everything that you need to know about these events and what you can get. So we're gonna go into our PC. I haven't used it in a while, so bear with me. <laughs> so we're gonna access our storage and we're gonna move Pokemon because it's easier to use this. And there you go. I got the secret egg right here because I already used it for the exploit. I got my shiny Larvitar, Cloyster, uh, a Shell Mint, my Keldeo, my Victini with V Create, which is incredible. Shiny Metagross, Pikachu with uh, Volt Tackle, very interesting. Uh, shiny Palkia. So if we're gonna click on each Pokemon here, just to prove that they're legit, and you can actually transfer them to Pokemon Home or Pokemon Bank, wherever you need to want them to be. This is the world's 12 Pikachu. I can tell because the username and the OT. This is Summer 12 Keldeo. Shelmet from Summer 2011. I think this is a regular event Cloyster with a Choice Scarf. <laughs> VGC 12 um, Larvitar. Mystery Egg, which I tried to exploit. And you can see that's the same date where I dropped my original video. That's from a Pokemon event. Just to prove that it does work. Got the Victini over here, you know what I'm saying? The Victini from the movie 14 ended up getting V Create, which is very awesome. Shiny Metagross, the Ray um, OT. And we got Pikachu from Summer 2012. And finally, Palkia from Summer 2013. So there you have it. This exploit does work. I couldn't really accept the gifts for now because obviously I already used them up and you cannot use them for duplicate events it has to be separate events. So once you get a Keldeo or this Palkia, for example, uh, you really can't get another one. Unless you know some magic, some <laughs> deep dark magic that you know that I don't know, then good for you. you go ahead and try it. So that's pretty much it. So in summary, you're going to want a DS, 3DS, compatible with Pokemon Black, White, Black 2, White 2, and last but not least, a, uh, pretty much a mobile hotspot or a wireless connection that allows you to input a non well, that allows you to connect without using a password because you need to have an open secured connection and just to be sure here um looking at my that's the name um and so password none and it's pretty much is an open wi-fi that my um an open mobile hotspot that my 3ds can connect via wi-fi so that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video pretty quick um but i do love finding this kind of stuff and you know just seeing it work is just still incredible even in 2020 <laughs> so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed peace see you guys hopefully with a fourth gen video update